Hello guys and welcome to another brand new video here on the channel. Today we have a senior goalkeeper session which is focusing on cutbacks, uh, handling technique and shot stopping, a lot of stuff rolled into one. If you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up, I hope you like the content and the value that it brings and also if you enjoy all the videos please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, it really helps us reach as many like-minded goalkeeping enthusiasts as possible. So in this video we have four senior goalkeepers working, uh, we have Joe who plays for Kennington and plays for England at Sixes, we have Tom who was previously of Sittenbourne, um, he's just recovering from an injury so he's just getting back into the flow of things now, Ben who plays for Faversham and Sam who's just finished playing uh, youth team football in Bostick level. So as you can see, we're just working through some activation work to begin with. Uh, the first practice which you saw in the previous part uh, was a very simple footwork practice where you're just moving into line with the ball from behind a mannequin, just to shift the feet and get the hands engaged. For the next drill, which you can see now, uh, we're just starting on a very slight half turn, which you can see from Joe here. So turning in and taking a volley and then going into the second half turn, so you're doing your right and your left. So you're just opening up the hips, which you get used to in a cutback and then engaging the head and the eyes on the ball and facing the volley. Uh, to get a technical catch and just bring the hands into play. The next stage um, is just working on another turn in. So we're turning in from a higher position uh, and then we're getting used to a dropping off position, uh, which will be acting and dealing with depth in the goal. So again, just a little bit of an activation drill, uh, just to try and get the feet working, try and utilize the movements that might be used um, in a cutback situation. And again, just hit the hands uh, for not only just the feel good factor, um, but good technique, getting your eye on the ball. Again, this is only the second week back to training um, for a lot of these lads, um, obviously due to the coronavirus pandemic. So we're still in quite early days. So we're just looking to get the contact on the ball. So for the next stage, as you can see, the goalkeeper starts in a central area, recovers out to the cutbacks, so it imitates the ball going wide. We give them a save that's straight at them, so just a simple catch. And then it's a recovery line flat into the goal, and I'm just positioned behind the camera. I'm driving this in from a stationary ball. Again, this is just so we can get the contact and get the ball in and around the goalkeeper. I'm um, sitting so around the body and the bubble of the keeper. Um, this is not going straight at them. This is if they if they uh, bring their arms out and their legs out, it could be anywhere in and around the body. So there is potential, as you can see, uh, to have to move the feet, to have to dive, shift into line, etc. So the keeper can't just guess what's about to happen. They have to wait and assess. So for this phase, um, the simplicity is in the drill again. Similar position, starting centrally, moving wide, uh, deal with a low ball that's cut across the goal so the keeper doesn't know how tight it's going to go to them. Um, so they, uh, there are a couple that could have ended up being scooped, but we're looking ideally to stretch the keeper out to take the cut back. 
recover in and deal with a half volley. Again, the half volley is just coming in between the mannequins, testing the goalkeeper and making sure they are not guessing, waiting for the service and seeing what comes in. Hopefully it's evident and it becomes more evident in the session. The dynamic of this uh, particular group is fantastic. They all work so well together. Um, obviously with four senior goalkeepers, the encouragement is excellent. They all push each other really well. And the tempo of the drills was excellent. We got a lot done in about an hour and five minutes. Uh, so hopefully this is really evident from watching this. So once again for this next part, um, simplicity is in the detail again, uh, dealing with a cutback, cut it out from mid height now, so the ball's not on the floor, but the goalkeeper doesn't quite know how high it's going to go, um, could be anywhere sort of like knee up, and then returning, recovering line, back into the goal, find depth, find your position that suits you with regards to the physical qualities you may have, and then as you can see it's a moving ball, so it's a touch out, which may have to just adjust the goalkeeper's feet and then deal with the strike coming through the two red mannequins. Uh, again, the ball could go anywhere, so it's a case of the goalkeeper to deal with what they see at the time. Our next section is a bit of an engineered drill. So as you can see, it's a central strike to get the goalkeeper's hands on the ball and then a little bit of distribution out. However, they want to get it back to me nice and quick. Then it's turning into the post and dealing with a random cutback. So this could be low or high. The goalkeeper doesn't know what's coming. Then recovery line and try and find the best position to deal with the random strike from me in the middle. So you could have a half volley shot from the floor, whatever I fancy. Um, if you watch the goalkeepers here, um, it's interesting to focus on what their different positions are. So at the minute we've got Ben who's in goal now and Sam and then we'll have uh, Tom and Joe who rotate in. So it'd be interesting as a viewer watching the video if you can see the different positions the goalkeepers take up for the last strike from me. And hopefully you can see some of them are sitting a little bit higher, in particular Ben's quite high there. And hopefully the depth is also evident as well from a couple of them. Um, again, as we said in the previous video, uh, this does depend also on the goalkeeper's uh, own physical qualities, so their reaction time, how quick they are, could even be to do with um, height and what they can cover in the goal. But also what's really important here is um, in a game where we've got the two red mannequins sitting in front, um, the depth comes from the fact you have bodies in the way as well. You're trying to give yourself as much <laughs> good save, Joe. That save made me laugh in the session. Um, the depth here yeah, comes from the bodies um, in the way. So you're looking to hold depths so just in case of like a nick or a touch from a player. Um, so yeah, that's the main focus of this particular part. And the last phase, uh, as you can see here, is a central strike, uh, a pullback from the wing into a, a reactive cutback save from the rebounder in the centre. So again, lots of randomness, um, and I'll let you enjoy this part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're there, you're there, you're there. Hold around. 
Oh, oh, so right. yep. Yeah, great oh, Yeah, what a save. Love it. Well done. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, watch oh, yeah, out. Get up. That. Get up, oh, mate. Go on, it. Oh, no one's in there. All right. Stay, Ben. No rebounds. Get up. Oh. <laughs> Hang time. <laughs> yes, oh yes, oh, shut oh, over. See what? If Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it brings you some value. Nice uh, thank you to the four goalkeepers who worked so hard in this session. It was a fantastic session to be involved with. Um, really good dynamic, lots of speed, good quality. Uh, so thank you to the four goalkeepers. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all soon.